Hello, my friends, and um, today I'd like to talk to you about what I've discovered about this company. I was contacted by a friend of mine uh, whom I trust in Indonesia, and he asked me what I thought about this company. And I was immediately, there was just something about the information that he sent to me that made me um, ner suspicious, shall we say. Okay, so supposedly this company, if you sign up with them, you'll get your own site that'll look exactly like this site, but instead of main in the URL, it'll have your name or part of your name in it, just like my friends. I'm not going to put up my friends because I, I don't want him to be um, involved, um, but and I've already warned him it's a scam, okay, but I... You'll get the same exact uh, one, but it's an affiliate link, so they know it's coming from you, okay? Now, here's the next thing. They say, you're going to earn millions per month by mining helium, and all you've got to do is put their hotspot in your network. Okay. So that, and I looked at helium's value right now. It's like $21 and something cents. Uh, for one helium sounds great right well maybe um, maybe not because if you think about it if you have a hot spot inside of your network that means that potentially number one that hot spot could be used to tunnel into your computer your devices okay not only that anybody who connects to your hot spot could also have their um, devices breached okay that makes me a little bit nervous all right so I decided okay I gotta research this and and this is their website now I went I, I noticed this right away fortune fast company time Forbes coin desk and decrypt ooh now it doesn't say why these names are here but the implication is is that these companies have all um, said something good about iHub global but they don't link to the articles. A legitimate company would have a link to these articles. Okay. So what's going on? Well, I did search each of these places and I found iHub, but it's not iHub Global. It's a tech initiative in Nairobi, Kenya to help the um, help tech people in Kenya get, um, get some support and get ahead in life. Okay, so that, and here it gives you these things about the affiliate network over here, and, but it doesn't l give you any details. It doesn't let you link to anything, even though this is the way, main sub, uh, uh, main website. This is a video. I, did, I only watched part of it, and what's this? I don't know. It's, I guess it's meant to imply that there's a city full of iHubs uh, devices, and this explains very briefly doesn't say anything about money anywhere yet doesn't ask it doesn't ask for money and it doesn't tell you how much money you can earn it doesn't tell you um, how much money they're going to take out of that uh, out of the uh, cryptocurrency that you mine okay and it's um, these devices are very low wattage so it's not like you're going to be spending a lot of money on electricity and these are some brands of the supposed hotspots that you would be getting. No, uh, just as a note, I asked my friend if he already had the hotspot. He said, no, I won't get it until January. Well, maybe there's a reason for that. So I look down here. Well, still nothing specific. It's very interesting. Um, I haven't clicked on the start today button. I just wanted to point this out for a minute. Now the incorporation, this all in for all here, there's no linking here. None of this has a link. Terms and condition, okay. Uh, privacy policy, okay. Support, we got some support. Let's go back up to get started today. <laughs> Join for free. Get your own page to promote. Access to our coded affiliate program to own your network. Funnels and tools available to promote. Free training on all things iHub and traffic. Join us in our soft launch today. Timing. Now, 
in the message that my friend shared with me, it said that you would get your own device for free, not just your own page or access to the program, and but it doesn't link to the funnels and tools available to promote. It doesn't link to anything here that would be helpful for us to understand. So let's go to terms and conditions. Okay. Um, Online store terms, can general conditions, accuracy, completely simplification. Accuracy of billing, and oh, there's billing. Hmm. I wonder what kind of billing it's going to be. Hmm. So, where's the part about how you get the hotspot? Where's the part about how you how much you go you know how you're going to earn the money and about all that other stuff I, I don't see any of that let's see about us who's who's named in this sure it gives us an address but that's nothing oh they support Viva kids fantastic I've never heard of Viva kids but okay all right, so we've got Rick Cotton of Xfuse and a few other companies, Chuck Hansen, Michael Stern. I really don't know these guys. Um, I saw one claim that Rick Cotton has been involved in multiple scams, but I was unable to locate verification of that uh, those claims. Um, I, I don't like, I don't trust him by looking at him, but I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, the other guys, you know, they look. They look nice, but Rick, I don't know, there's just something about that picture I just don't like. Rick, change that picture. All right, so now let's move on. I, I found that they have a Facebook page. They also have a video. Uh, well, they're supposed to have videos on Vimeo on their channel, but it's gone. No videos. I don't know if that means you have to join first to be able to see them, but since they link somewhere I saw before a uh, link to uh, a Vimeo uh, video, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe they, you can only, I don't use Vimeo, so I don't know if this is like something where they can restrict who sees it and you have to have the link from the website in order to see it. Um, but all I can say is, is there's not enough information here for me to really understand what's going on. Let's try join now. No, learn more. We'll learn more. Oh, that didn't help. Let's try join now. Huh. Same thing as before. Sign up now. All right. Let's sign up. Cloudflare. Good thing to use. Especially if you're expecting to be hit by lots of uh, visits. Uh, you're supposed to be using the affiliate link. Okay. All right. All right. Well, all right. Let's move on here. Let's go back to the address and let's also look for a um, no information about the company being incorporated or anything like that. So I went to Dun and Brad Street and they do have a profile there. It says that they're in 1903 Robalo Drive, Vero Beach, Florida. Hmm. Okay. Um, it's a non-classifiable establishment. It has five employees across all its location and generates $94,459 in sales. That's not very much for five people to split, unless that's per month. Um, okay. Well, let's see. Is there anything else I can get here? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not uh, a member of Dun & Bradstreet, but apparently they are. But wait a second, 1903 Robalo Drive in Vero Beach. Now, if I, um, if I go back to this website, what do we see here? Whoa, 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 what are you doing, you crazy program? Don't don't make me go back up there if I don't want to. 1619 14th Avenue. Well, why are they giving a different address? And why doesn't the link that, this should link you to that address, but there's no link. So they're, okay. Let me just say, when you've got stuff that doesn't link and it should link, those are signs of a scam. 
but let's try. I did already, actually. This is the, the intersection of 14th Avenue and 16th Street. Now, I don't know why over here it says Seminole Avenue, but since it says 14th Avenue here, well, I guess we could go across the street, right? Hmm. This does not look good because that's a strip mall. Quick stop. Okay. Nope. And there's nothing much over here, but let's just double check. See if we can find an address. Um, an apartment building. But I don't see. Can I get in here? Nope, I can't. And I don't see a sign for it either. It's weird how it says 14th Avenue, but the map says uh, Seminole. What's that say? Cot Sutton Place Condominiums. Fi 1555 14th Avenue. Okay, so we'll just ignore Seminole Avenue. So that's 1555. So obviously, because it's intersecting with 1600, um, 16th Place or 16th Street here, it's got to be on this side. Now, there is a mobile station right there. Now, let's see. Can I see an address here? Nope, I don't see an address here. Let's zoom out a little bit, and we'll go right over here. And this is what's nice about Google Maps. One of the reasons I like using Google Maps um, is because you can actually do research like this fairly well. Man, but gosh, I just can't see. Okay, so that's 16, I can't even see that. 16 something, darn it. This is so frustrating. Let me go all the way over here, see if I can see it from here. No, that's even worse. Hmm. Alrighty. Now you notice that it says 1600 Seminole. So that'd be 1600 um, whatever. And I still can't get a clear view of the address for this place. That's kind of frustrating. So yeah, I can't verify that. What's this over here? Oh man, that's even worse. All right, let's go back over here and we'll look at this place. Dr. Dan's Animal Hospital. Hmm. No address listed, at least not one that I can see. Let's try going over here and see if I can see an address over here. No, it's just names of doctors, and there's something down below, but I can't read that. All right, but this is 1622, so this is the even side of the street, so I'm looking at the wrong side of the street, which I already knew, but I just wanted to demonstrate that to you. All right, so let's go over here and we'll take a look at this address. This is 1650 or 1633. So that's not it. We went too far. Let's go to this one. What does this one say? And that one is a lock service and the number has been blurred for some strange reason. I don't know why they would blur it, um, but that's odd. And this vacant one here, it's for, I know it's vacant because I saw a for rent sign on it, is 1620 something, 1625 I think. So it should be that kind of teal colored building right here on the left. But I can't see the address for it there. Let's see if I can get over here and see what this, oh it's a podiatrist's office. Let's see, does it show the address? And a pharmacy at 1635 14th Avenue. And then there's this podiatrist, a foot doctor. A foot doctor doesn't sound to me like I, um, a, a I hub global. Does it sound like that to you? Shouldn't. All right, so where the heck is this place? What's this place called? Okay, nope, that's not it. And that one's not it either. 
neither of these places have anything to do with iHub Global. Now, I wanted to go back here and I just want to show you when you search for Citrus Plaza, 1619 14th Avenue, Vero Beach, California, uh, Florida, it crosses out Citrus Plaza. Why? Because there is no Citrus Plaza there. Also, as you have seen, there is no 1619 14th Avenue. These are common things that scammers do. They, they find stuff that looks legit until you actually go to Google Maps and then you're, you bust them. But let's look for Citrus Plaza. I already did that. There is a Citrus Plaza company in Vero Beach, but it's at 1848 Wilbur Avenue. That's nowhere near, as far as I know anyways. It's not 14th Avenue, it's Wilbur Avenue. And it's at least two blocks north of the, or I assume that's north. I assume it would be north if it's 1800s, um, but it could be south. I don't know. Um, but it's, it's not, it's not legit. All right. So let's go back to, what was that other address that we found? Where was that again? Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, Dun & Bradstreet. Let's take a look at 1903 Roballo Drive. Let's see if we can find something for that. See, this is the kind of thing that you should be doing when you get job opportunities or investment opportunities and stuff like that. You need to be very careful. All right, there it is. It's an actual address. Wait a second. It's a home. It's a home. Somebody's running it out of their home? Seriously? I wonder who owns that home. I'm not sure how I would research that, how I would research who the owner of that home is. <sighs> Maybe I can just try and search for it. I don't know why it's taking so long. Who owns? There we go. Let's see if this will work. I've never actually tried to search for homeowner information. I know it's public information. I just don't know how to do it. So hopefully this will tell me. 1903. Oh, true people search. Oh, come on. Been verified. Oh, please. Uh, hmm. Known residents. Robert Merrick Kowalczyk. Robert Zoltan Gaelias Laney lived here in 2003 to 13 to 18. Okay, who is? Come on, where's the public record information? Mm. All right, well, I guess I, I'm going to have to learn how to do that kind of research since I never bothered to do that before. Um, but it looks like, yeah. This is kind of questionable. Now let's, but let's try something here. Let's type, whoa. Okay. Uh, where is it? 19, what was it? 19, what? 1903. Oh, I used to live at an address that was 1903. Nope, that's not it. It's got to be on the other side here. Where is it? Come on. Come on, Google. Load up for me. I got to. Hurry up here. Wait, 1903. There it is. It is a house, not a commercial property. It's got a Ford station wagon. Ooh, that's classy. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, okay, so I did a little searching. I found this thing um, from apparently somebody who is an affiliate. Let me get back to it. And it just talks about this. Um, and it actually mentions the amount of money you have to spend to be an affiliate. And it creates 12K per year in, in money. It's, uh, okay, hundreds of thousands, 100,000 per year next in, in a year's time. Okay. And there's a live webinar link, which is obviously not live anymore. And it links to Herb website. I assume it's a her CBD oil princess. Um, Vimeo. Oh, here's the link to the Vimeo, Vimeo art um, video that I can't see uh, on Vimeo. 
and see. And just to, and oh, look at that's that's just so nice looking. Um, but gosh, hello, hotspot. Let's get started. <sighs> okay, that's interesting. Okay, so I tried uh, since uh, I, I oh I, wait a second. I need to show you this article. Val Forex, where is it? Where's my Val Forex article? There it is. Val Forex I um article by I don't know who wrote it. Um says iHub.global is a fraudulent mining network. Okay, and you can go ahead and go to Val Forex and um for yourself and search for this or uh get to it using the link that I provide um that is up above. In fact I'll try to put this in the description of my video and along with the links to everything else. Um, so what, what did we discover today? Well, we discovered that there's a high chance that this is fraudulent. Okay. N number two, if you put your hotspot in some, in your, uh, network, it can be used to tunnel into your network and, and hack your, your devices. Number three, anybody else who uses your hotspot can have the same thing happen to them. So, could you earn money from it? Well, it's a little bit vague. I mean, there really isn't very much information on here about what you can earn or what you have to pay. It's just, it's kind of frustrating that uh, they keep that information locked away. And that kind of bothers me. So, you know, you can do your own research, and if you happen to uh, come across anything else, come on over to my uh, post on uh, bleeping computers, uh, sorry, bleepingcomputer.com, and you go to forum slash t slash 757379 slash is iHub Global's hotspot and HNT mining legal, legit, sorry, okay, and put your comments below. Um, so far... <laughs> I haven't gotten very any, any help. I only posted this like a couple hours ago, but I do need to uh, end this video now. But um, yeah, nobody else has responded other than this guy. He just posted the same video that I posted. Um, so thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.